So, uh, uh, are we on? So the mayor has proposed uh, steps to close a big budget deficit for the city, and it raises a lot of concerns. Most important is it would cut a lot of services that low and moderate income residents rely on, and in fact, nearly half of the budget cuts the mayor proposed would affect low income residents. I think that's imbalanced. When you're tackling a, a budget shortfall, you know, everyone needs to be open to you know, business is not as going to be as usual. We all have to be open to change, and we all have to be willing to, to take a hit. Uh, but you want to minimize the impact of, of that hit on the most vulnerable seg segments of your population uh, and on the segment that has the most potential for growth. Without these strong social safety net programs, we're going to continue to gentrify, homogenize, and lose the very uh, what makes DC DC? Two million for rent support. One point five for tenant rents. Seven hundred and fifty thousand for housing first. Five point four million for adult job training. Two million for literacy. Come up to six point two million cut to TANF. They're also cutting one point nine million in supported work programs, which means they're cutting even more vendors than the selected few I just said we had. But if you cut that. And we're already facing the issue with HIV right. and AIDS in the District of Columbia. Right. What do you think is going to happen then? They got all these codes here, code orange and things of that nature. What code do you think we'll be in in, in that case? Cut that and see what happens. We need these lawyers, uh, low-income people in our city need these lawyers. They make such a difference in terms of preventing evictions and dealing with problems of domestic violence and helping people get public benefits. And so uh, we just have to convince the city council not to accept what Mayor Fenty has proposed. They can cut costs or they can increase revenue they have. And I think this is the time when they have to really uh, show some courage. Sometimes when things go down, we tend to sort of cut back, cut back, cut back, and things continue in this spiral. I think uh, we can put a halt to that and we will turn it around by using some capital. And so we need to broaden our um, understanding of what it means to invest in low-income communities and realize that it's a key part of economic development. Investing in the you know, low-income communities is actually a better investment in the local infrastructure because low-income communities spend the dollars they receive locally and immediately. And so our message to the council first is let's not make the problem any larger than it has to be. Let's use every resource we have to balance the budget uh, before we start cutting. And then let's also raise revenues as much as possible. And when we cut our budget, let's make sure that the, the budget cuts are spread fairly.